Okay. Hey guys, I'm back with another video um, with Michael Got Skills, and today I'll be making a pen gun V3. And I finally got back, and this one actually does work with shooting, and so it's like a ballistic knife, and this one will truly work. So the parts you will need is a pen. Priors are optional, so um, if you want, you can use priors or not, but I don't really care. So what you want to do is first... Just assemble your pen. So I want to, start to disassemble it and take everything out, which I already made this pen, so I have really nothing in it. But uh, you would get a spring, and this is the spring that came with it. Um, what else came with it? This came with it, but and what you will need is one of these parts. And you'll find this in the pen somewhere. Uh, it'll look like this and it'll have like lines like this all around. Um, so yeah, that. Oh yeah, I have to go get. Um, okay guys, I'm back. And I got some pliers, because you're going to need them. Uh, just realize you're going to need some pliers. So, once you disassemble your pen. You're going to want to disassemble this back part, so you just want to go like this, very easy. And you just need to pull all this stuff aside, besides your spring, and your, um, this thing. And once you have these things, so we'll put these aside, all over here. And this is the basic mechanism, so what you want to do is get your pliers, and you see this um, middle like this. You want to take your pliers like this. Put your pliers right on the tip like this. And bend in like this. So this will lock it in place. So you just want to. Don't bend it in like so much. So that it can't um, like go in the launching mechanism. And it can't launch out. So you want to bend it in a tiny bit. Not like all but. Should end up with a couple cracks in your pen, like a little scraped edges, but it should look like that, something. Just either way, it has to curve like that. So then, what you want to do is get your spring, stretch it out a tiny bit, about that, like this size or something. And you want to just do that. And then you want to get this thing. Um, You're going to want to test it if it, like, fits. This one nearly fits, so yeah, you're gonna have to kind of trim it. And then you want to just trim it somehow, which um, you want to cut it down so it'll fit. But I'm not gonna do that right now because I'll take a while. So I already have a finished one. This is from a different pen, but it works. And as you can see, I sawed it off, but I sandpapered it down so it's smooth. And then what you want to do is you see this, you take your, um, uh, this thing and then you just do this and you put it like this, hold it with your finger, get any pen rod, uh, and then just you go like this and see right now this doesn't work because I bent it too much. So this is why you have to be like... It has to be very accurate, um, like, like right there. So I'm just gonna untighten this real quick, a tiny bit. So yeah, just let me do this real quick. All right, that should be good. Um, so then you wanna just do the same thing, put the spring, then get your um little thingy that you're supposed to cut and then get push this pen like this so it does take a long time to actually like get it to right where it does go on and so I'm just gonna try once more and you want to spend I'm gonna bend it in not so much but this might take a couple tries so this video might be long but I will cut to the point that where we get to the real stuff. Okay, f finally, I got it done. Um, it's staying in, so it's 
good sign. And then you want to test it, shoot it in your palm, see if it works, try it all over again. And then you just want to do it like kind of like a musket, you had to reload, you just go shoot back like that. And then you want to get your pen again and just put it like a regular pen, like assemble it again. So just assemble it with your, like this. So you just want to get your main part, have it like that. Put anything that was on like this. So pretty much everything I'm putting on, but it's off because you might not have a grip, so. Oh yeah, I almost forgot the most important part. The pen cartridge. So it's going to launch a pen cartridge. Uh, you can't have the cap unless you have like a really thin pen cartridge, but unless you get like a certain pen, but this one won't shoot because it can't go through the pen rod, so you're going to have to go without it. Um, you don't have to use the pen cartridge for the bullet. You could just use this, but... I just like it better, um, and then I'm going to fire this, so then you're going to go like this, now I'm going to fire it. Um, that was freaking deadly, um, that nearly almost killed me as I ricocheted and almost hit me. Uh, if you can't see that little dent right there. Um, it's because there is a dent. I don't think you can see that, but I'll move the camera closer to that so you can see it. Um, if you can see that tiny dot, then right here. Um, yeah, there's a wall behind it, so it actually wouldn't have went through the wall. It wouldn't have went through that paper if the wall wasn't behind there, because, you know, it was like 50 layers of the wall. Um, but... That was pretty damn deadly, as you can see, if you didn't realize that. How fast that shot and how loud that was. If I just, I'm going to make this into slow motion so you can see how fast this was. And I'll probably shoot it one more time if I can even find it, so I'll pause the video. Alright, I'm back with the gun. And how to reload it is just... The green thing or whatever color it is, the thing that, the mechanism thing, the spring in that thing will come out, like, up, but they won't come out. It depends, like, how your pen is designed. But, if, for me, it doesn't come out if you have this kind of pen. Um, it didn't come out, so you just go, the pen cartridge will come out, so you just get the cartridge. And then you just go like this, and it'll lock into place. You just gotta push it, like, down, lock, giggity. And then, um, yeah, and then when you hear it click, then you're good. And then you can just fire it again. And then I'll shoot it again. Same exact place. Um, it's pretty accurate. It's, um, it's just me. I mean, I can't, like, go overhead with, like, because I'm going like this over here, so I can't really see. But, um, it's a really good design. I don't know how far it shoots because I just made this. Um, so, yeah, if you guys like this, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And hope you like this. Hope this helped you a lot with issues or stuff or bad friends. Any self-defense purpose purposes. So, nothing, don't shoot anyone with it, because I'm not, I'm not the one who's going to be in charge of it if you shoot someone, so, I'm not the one who's responsible, so, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next video.